Now, what I'm doing here is basically forming the crest for tying classic salmon flies, mainly for classic salmon flies. Uh, I'm sizing the, the crests, and these have been formed. I've basically shaped them using a glass tumbler. I just put them around the glass tumbler. But uh, obviously, before I do that, I soak them in warm water. Now, when you buy your crest, 90% of the time, uh, they'll basically look just all twisted. It's not doom and gloom, they look just a nice, you're looking for a nice crest. In this case, you can see this one here, it's got a, I'll just focus in a wee bit, there we are, it's got a nice red tip. Uh, sometimes they, I mean, I like to see that if I can get them. But it's not, but they're not bad if they don't have that, but it's just nice to have that. Now what you do is obviously remove the large ones first. In my case, I like to size them, so the easiest way to do it is to actually the last ones first, put them in, into the warm water. This is basically close to boiling, this water, uh, into a bowl like this. This is an old bowl. I just give them five minutes or so, just to soak. Uh, or to basically, it soaks up uh, the water and softens the feather. And it allows you then to basically put them onto a tumbler. Now, I have a different sizes. This is just a Slim Jim. I'm using in the small as you can see there. And what happens when you put them on, uh, the, sh the shape of the glass, it takes the shape of the glass, but though you can shape them as well, and you just sit on your desk and allow them to dry, and they fall off naturally, just fall off and onto your desk, and then you can size them up like I'm doing here. So the large, medium, small, the extra small. And I'm doing the large one, another two here, so what I'm doing now is just basically going to put them onto the glass. Now, this is kind of a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing here. It's just pulling these feathers along the glass. Remove them from the hot the bottom water using the tweezers. Take away the excess. And then just start off about the air and then slide it in so that the fibres then slide into shape. At the back. Then what I like to do is just make sure they're nice and straight. Use a small brush. Very easy to do it. Like get another one here, just to show you again. Just take away the excess water. So we basically start there, slide it around, so that the fibres go straight. Let it go. There we are, and then if you want, we don't really need to do this one, it's fine. So we just run the brush along and we keep going to have basically I'd usually do both sides of the glass. But you can see there, there's our crest online. We are doing the smaller one. So there's the small. And these are ready for falling off, they're actually falling off just now. So basically just I'll just encourage it to just fall off onto your desk. And there you are, that's them all ready. These crests are ready to be tied in for either tails or smaller flies. Mainly these would be for tails though. And if I'm forming the wing, these will be the smaller parts, but having the different sizes, obviously we've got so extra large, large, medium, and then small. Uh, you can go a stage further and it, it prepares your feathers. Just put them into some tub, a tub. And uh, I'll show you the wee type of tub that I use. If we can just. So, what I do is this is the tub that I use here. So, we just put them in. These are tubs that, that I got years ago. Now, as I say, you just put them in. You get a tub of some sort, you put them into these small bags, as long as you keep the bags quite flat. Your crest will sit like this, and uh, when you need them, you just obviously bring them out. A nice and sized. There's a, there's a nice crest there. So, And you can manipulate the, the crest with your nail. I just lightly on the back. Change the shape, not I'm just running it lightly. It'll, it'll shape, it'll 
to suit the tight style of fly that you're actually tying and uh, get a nice drop crest it's made down so it's, it's really nice um, obviously put in your box ready for tying your flies so I hope you found that interesting and that's how to form the crests or appreciate them into a natural shape because that's a natural shape to tie the classic salmon flies